So the GoPro Bones, what is it and who is it for? Let's get into it. GoPro said they were gonna make some more specialized cameras this year. And they really have gone specialized with this camera. The GoPro Bones is essentially a stripped down version of the GoPro Hero 10 Black for the FPV drone world out there. The idea behind this camera is that FPV drone pilots would strap this camera to an FPV drone, something like a Cine Whoop to film super smooth and cinematic footage from the GoPro whilst using a separate low latency camera camera and pairing that camera with some FPV goggles to see where the drone is going whilst flying. Now this is not a new idea, in fact it's been around for quite a while and I would say it became really big or there was the tipping point around the time when the infamous bowling alley scene came on the internet. But what's great here about GoPro is that they've listened to the audience. They've seen what creators have been doing in this very niche area of filmmaking which is essentially pulling apart the GoPro GoPro 10 stripping it down as much as they can themselves to help improve the FPV drone experience. But GoPro have gone one step ahead and done this with the GoPro Bones and done it in a much better way. By the way, a like on this video and a sub on the channel would be sublime. This is a new channel with new growth and I would love to have you guys along for the ride. Now with Bones, you do keep the sensor, the lens, processor, hyper smooth built in stabilization software, but you are losing the waterproofing, battery screen, ports, etc. You are getting the lightest version of GoPro that they've ever released at just 54 grams. And Bones, just like the Hero 10 Black, shoots at 5k 60 frames per second and 4k 120 frames per second, which is quite amazing in such a small little body. Although that's really nice, this camera is complicated. It's not as simple as taking out the box and you're ready to film. There's a lot more that needs to go into it. You need to solder this camera directly into the FPV drone and give it access to power via the circuit board. It's a complicated affair. I mean, I looked into this myself, the whole FPV drone Cinewoo world out there, and it's not easy. It's potentially a new hobby for me in the future if I can build up enough courage to try and tackle such a complicated world of FPV drones. And what I do know about my FPV drone hobbyist research that I've done is that power is very crucial. You have to match the power voltage and make sure that it's distributed correctly or it crashes and burns. And what GoPro have done here with the GoPro Bones is that they've given it a pretty wide range of power requirements from 5 to 27 volts, which is a good thing. That essentially means that this camera should work pretty well with a wide range of cine whoops and self-made FPV drones. So why buy this camera? Why buy the GoPro Bones? Well, if you're a FPV drone pilot, you're getting all the strengths of the GoPro Hero 10 Black with the GP2 processor, industry leading stabilization and cinematic 5K video, as well as 4K slow motion, plus photos in almost 20 megapixels via the 5k video all this for 500 bucks without subscription or 400 bucks with one year subscription or 350 with subscription that doesn't sound so great now that i said that out loud hmm. anyways what are your thoughts to the gopro bones in the fpv drone world also, experts out there, what advice would you give to someone like myself or other people who want to get into this complicated world of cine whoops and self-made FPV drones? Comment your thoughts and advice down below. So that's it for me today, guys. As always, I love your faces and I'll see you next time.